I was a girl with a dream and yet nowhere to go So until I turned 17 this place was my home Thunder Bay! Yes, it's still technically a city With over a hundred thousand people And the nature is so pretty Thunder Bay! We get high in high Park And the streets are pretty safe Unless it's after dark in Thunder Bay. <laughs> the crime rate is terrible. <laughs> Growing up in a place where I could spend a lot of time outside, staring at the sleeping giants, so many places to hide. Fort William and Port Arthur connected by a highway, yet the Hoytos finished pancakes weren't enough reason for me to stay. My whole family lives there, I'm in Toronto all alone But when I go back I know I can still call it my home Thunder Bay, where Uber doesn't exist Home to stand outside of clubs, watch how he's about to piss Thunder Bay, where I dated a closet and gay <laughs> I don't know when I'll go back. The price to fly there is pretty whack. The flight's so short you don't even get a snack. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll win the lottery so I can go home to Thunder Bay. So that's a little bit about me. I'm from Thunder Bay, as I said, I don't have to explain it. Um, I, and as you can probably guess, um, I, I do comedy, <laughs> that's why I'm here. Um, and I might be a little bit sad and depressing sometimes, but I, I use comedy to get through it, and I think all of you should as well. So, um, <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I talk, and I'm like, stop talking, but I have to get through it. Um, so this next song. Uh, <laughs> so anyone here like, um, dating anyone? Who's not, my, who's not my gay boyfriend from Thunder Bay. Um, <laughs> he's dating someone who's happy. He messaged me on Facebook after I deleted him. It's fine, we're good. Um, <laughs> cool, that's great. Um, I don't um, date anyone after that incident, um, which is fine. But I feel like this is what uh, would happen if I dated someone, because I, I think I'm awesome. Um, and, and it's hard for me to, like, uh, understand someone else is awesome because I'm, I'm very obsessed with myself. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up in the morning and I see your text message, hey, I don't know how to respond. Don't know what you want me to say. Hey, you are a real nice guy, and I don't want to upset you. But this has been going on way too long, and now I don't know what to do. 
You were my one night stand and then my two night stand and now we're casually dating and I don't understand. I'm really not a bitch, but I never said a vow. I just don't wanna break your heart, so we'll just be together for now. <laughs> It's now been 47 weeks <laughs> At least that's what you say He even bought me a present For our 10 month anniversary It was homemade <laughs> You're really good at giving back rubs. You are so sweet and so kind. But your stories are boring. And maybe if I was dumb, I wouldn't mind. You were my one night stand, and then my two year stand, because we're fully committed, and I don't understand. I'm really not a bitch, but I never said a vow. I just don't want to break your heart, so we'll just be together for now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel totally uncomfortable about our situation, but to break up with you, I'd have to deal with my fear of confrontation. <laughs> you're actually quite good looking, your face is more than subpar, but your stories make me fall asleep. So I'm gonna break up with you right now at this bar. Here we go. <laughs> No way, what are you doing? You're getting down on my knee. Oh, no. Deep down inside, I feel such pity. I have such a hard time saying no, so it looks like I'm stuck with you. Here we go. <laughs> you were my one night stand, and then my ten year stand. Because now we're married, and I don't understand. <laughs> I'm really not a bitch, but you made me say a vow. I just couldn't break up with you, cause you made me fall in love somehow. I tricked you! <laughs> so yeah, the only way I'll ever love is if it takes 10 years. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this next song is to make you realize that I'm not a terrible person. Um, bring you into my world. Uh, it's a little song that I, I, I've used to like kind of understand and figure out exactly what I'm good at because um, I feel like I'm good at a lot of things but like only okay. So I'm trying to figure out that thing and maybe you guys can help me. I'm going to get through it with the song um, and I'm going to just bounce some ideas off you. <laughs> don't sing along. You don't know the words. <laughs> Let's see if I do. <laughs> I've never really been that good at much Not singing, guitar, or grammar I've never really had that gentle touch And I have no clue how to use a hammer But I see so many unhappy people in my life Who are very good at many things And yet they can't help but live in strife because they are treated like kings. So I smile and I laugh and I grin and I think, what if what I'm good at is smiling? <laughs> I said I wasn't good at guitar. <laughs> I'll smile everywhere that I walk. I can't help but smile while I talk. I smile in the subway and in the car. I smile while I walk by the drunks at the bar. Oh, I get weird looks when I smile really big. Actually, maybe smiling's not my thing. <laughs> To the list I can't do, but that's not gonna get me down. Maybe if I stood in someone else's shoes and took a few steps around town, I'd be proud to walk around and be someone to respect. People would walk by and whisper, 
Oh my god, she's so cool. I want to be just like her. <laughs> Maybe I can be a good role model. <laughs> I'd be a great role model to teens. They'd look up to me and see what they could be. I'd be a good role model to the elderly. They'd wish I was part of their family tree. I'd be a good role model to the kids. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I really don't like children. <laughs> Another thing to add to the list. Soon I'll have to get more paper. <laughs> you know, because I have to write more things down on, on the list. Because apparently there's nothing in this godforsaken, stupid, huge, gigantic, materialistic, crazy, profound, colorful world I can. Wait. I'm good at making lists. <laughs> I'll make a list of groceries and food, a list of all the people that I think are rude, a list of all the presents I'll need for my friends, a list of all the days I think the world's gonna end. I could make a list of all the lists I could make, but for now I think I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> Song. I'm not, um, I like to promise the audience that I'm not good at singing and guitar just in case I fuck up. And so that's, there you go, they did it. Yay! Um, so this, <laughs> this next song I'm using, you'll see I'm using a capo because I've been playing the same four chords and now you won't know. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, so for the, this next song, I, I need to step out and, and my friend's gonna be here. <laughs> okay. oh, <wow>. <laughs> Please don't pull my hair while having sex because you wanted to enact your weird sex fantasy. <laughs> I don't condone any role playing involvement. <laughs> Please don't hold my hand in public while we're walking to the bar to make it seem like to your friends that we are more than we are, like our relationship had an emotional involvement. <laughs> you knew exactly what you were getting when you signed up for this. We had a literal contract, so there's no way you could have missed. I'm exactly what you always wanted. <laughs> I'm a sex robot, even though I look just like a human. I'm a sex robot, I have no feelings, just parts of a woman. You can see how you like, I know exactly how to please. I slap it like a bed, I'm already feeding you gold keys. I'm a sex robot, no strings attached. Please don't. Expect me to be there in the morning when you wake So awkward and false pleasantries we won't have to fake What's the point in saying goodbye? <laughs> Please don't ask me out for dinner the very next day Let's just have a nice quickie so I won't have to stay Don't get attached and don't ever cry There's a contract <laughs> You knew exactly what you were getting when you signed up for this. We had a literal contract, so there's no way you could have missed time exactly what you always wanted. I'm a sex robot, even though I look just like a human. I'm a sex robot, I have no feelings, just parts of a woman. You can see where you like, I know exactly how to please. I suck it like I bet I'm only giving you all the keys. I'm a sex robot, no strings attached. I wasn't always this way, but it was better than the alternative. When I was a human, I was lame because I was sensitive. 
I'd send a good text a few days after a first date with something like thinking of that great kiss. Then hours after seeing your read receipt, the response would be, new phone who did? <laughs> then a wizard appeared and it wasn't weird. He said that he had a solution. He could drain my soul and my feelings would go. I'd just be adding gas to the earth's never ending pollution. So now I'm a sex robot. I traded you would love to just feel normal. I'm a sex robot. Now I don't really care where you want to come. You can stick it where you like over and over and over and over and over. Over again. I suck at the bad bite. I'm on your decaption caused by your inability to carry your deep seated mommy issues causes me no pain. <laughs> I'm a sex robot, no strings attached. Sex robot, no strings attached. See you at our next transaction. <laughs> <laughs> I had to leave. I had to use the bathroom. Anyway, um, uh, I got one more song for you. I, I will be quick um, and get out of your hair. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do that to see if I could, you know. Uh, so this last song is um, I recently, I recently found the love of my life. I know I kind of said it before, but that's a bit, you know. You have to just stick with your bits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this this is the love of my life that I wanted to sing a song to, um, and I think you guys will um, you guys will just understand what you're hearing. Some people in this world are dog lovers. Man's best friend all the way, taking walks every morning, picking up shit. Giving commands like fetch and stay. If that's your thing, I won't judge you for that. But I've always preferred the pussy cat. <laughs> My pussy, 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 pussy cat. She's just so hairy and soft. She's always so good at cuddling. And I know when I need to back off. My particular pussy actually likes getting wet, so to me, my pussy's the perfect pet. Perfect? <laughs> <laughs> you can see one every single day if you have one at your place. Sometimes they walk around openly in the street or at a baseball diamond on third base. Uh, they come in all sizes from anorexic to fat. I love lying in bed alone with my pussy cat. <laughs> my pussy, 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 pussy cat. She always has my back. When she's in danger, out come her claws, or she'll run away before you attack. <laughs> With me, she's safe as I hold her tight, and I'll give her a nice petting before I say goodnight. <laughs> Pussies are my friend, and I don't really care if you have mugs against them with long hair. They don't really like it when you stand there and stare, and you can't be allergic to going down there. <laughs> They can sense danger from a mile away, so if you want them to stay, don't just say hey. Respect them, reject them, do whatever you want to do, but understand that no means no and they won't. Fuck you. My pussy, 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 pussy cat. My pussy, 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 pussy cat. Contractually, <laughs> my pussy cat. 